gosh, wait, I'm live. <clears throat> hey, love. <laughs> hey, love, hey, love. I'm Jesse C. Love, teacher love, coach love. This is the Save Our Marriage Empowerment segment. Some of the ways we do that is with prayer, reflection, inspiration, innovation, courageous conversation, encouragement, enlightenment, evolvement. <clears throat> oh, man. Ah, these are for healthy-minded husbands and wives who brought their self-reliance and independence together to be interdependent, lift one another up, and open up some doors because you want the best for and from one another. You're all in. You ain't playing no games. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, what, what? I don't even remember what episode I'm on. Darn it. What is this, 256? I think this is 256 out of 365. <clears throat> Look, this is an assignment. It's not about perfection. So I do appreciate that you gift me with some of your time. I'm not here to shame or put in fear any single folk, single women, single men. I just love marriage. I believe it's God's ministry it's god's art we're the ones that have the paintbrushes to add to it to make it a masterpiece i'm not saying everybody is supposed to be married or should be married or you need to get married i'm also not for permanent girlfriends and boyfriends so don't miss me with that miss me with that that's not me i'm not for that kind of nonsense i'm just not i <laughs> i'm not saying that you gotta be in it i ain't not at all Mm -mm. be whole and don't let nobody cause you to feel like you gotta be with somebody i'm speaking upon and about the healthy marriages that i've been honored to sit and talk with okay the healthy husbands who were taught how to cherish a woman by what they saw from their own fathers in the homes being healthy husbands and they caught it so that they treat their own wives with the same respect love admiration and the daughters benefit to where the daughters don't grow up seeking something that's broken they don't settle for that they don't involve themselves in men who walk all over them or on them mm -mm. Y'all don't hear me talking nothing about any kind of love except covenant love, healthy love. That's it. All right. I, I don't even, yeah, y'all ain't never even heard me mention a color because it ain't about that. Let me get to this one. You know what? For this one right here, I'm going to actually give you the love there first. And then I'll see about the other ones. What's it going to be? It's day number 307. And it says, love is des designed to give. <clears throat> A wife does not have ooh, authority over her own body, but her husband does. Equally, a husband does not have authority over his own body, but his wife does. 1 Corinthians 7, 4. When we hear that, that is not saying that you are to take, okay? It is not saying that you have, let me say from my belief in what I get, it is not saying that you have no authority as you can't say no and that you have a right to push yourself upon either one. There are boundaries, okay? Boundaries that help build a healthy sexual need and fulfillment. Desire is not a reason for guilt or an urge to be resisted. Rather, it's an opportunity for our oneness to be enjoyed, preserved, and celebrated. And when this legitimate need goes unmet, that's when selfishness and demanding comes in. The healthy husbands and wives know there is still a time and a place. Mm -hmm. We don't you're not forcing yourself. And when I say we, I'm speaking in relation to being in the atmosphere of healthy husbands and wives and talking with them. Because y'all know I'm not in legal covenant. And right about now, I'm enjoying the fact that I ain't because 
yeah, we probably wouldn't have made it through the pandemic. No way. So I'm not pushing marriage. I'm just not in for the permanent girlfriend, boyfriend, and that title of, that false sense of wifey. Nah. Uh-uh. Oh, healthy husbands and wives in their covenant marriage don't seek to fill this longing of intimacy somewhere else or in some other way. You're not abusing what you have. You know, you're looking at the possibility of someone not being okay. All right? Hmm. Issues can arise. But you ain't forcing yourself. That ain't healthy. To counteract a tendency of so many that have that mindset of, well, if you ain't doing it, somebody else, mm -mm, we don't do that in a healthy marriage. Our creator established marriage with one flesh mentality. It's not to be used as a bargaining chip. It's not something God allows us to withhold from one another without some kind of consequence. There's a reason for withholding that is something that is discussed in a healthy marriage all right do not healthy marriages don't abuse this divinely designed framework the heart of a marriage is one of giving ourselves to each other to meet the other's need there is no harm created there's no harm there's no abuse <sighs> there's no power struggle all right physical intimacy is one God-given opportunity for us to fulfill that purpose, to enjoy one another without harm. Y'all hear me say that often. We don't hurt each other in healthy marriages, period. The Go Deeper says to read 1 Corinthians 7, 1 through 5, God desires for purity and oneness are met in a godly, healthy marriage. Looking at verse 5, what does it say about the potential consequences of not being together physically in the physical intimacy? There's a, you have an agreed upon break that you do. And sometimes it could be one is just not physically feeling healthy enough to do that. And you don't just, well, just, just, you know, I'm just going to lay here and you go ahead and do what you got to do. No. No, no, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. Mm -mm. Ain't healthy at all. All righty, y'all. <clears throat> I'm going to go with this one. I appreciate your time. Thank you for coming in, tuning in. Hello, Jerry. I, Jerry Robert. Appreciate that you popped in. Make it a lovely day, not just for you. Find someone else and help them have a lovely day, too. I'll be right back with the others that I need to read in order to keep going with this assignment. <laughs> Be love.